What's happened? Is there some news? Have you not had the TV or radio on this morning, then? Uh, no, why? Can I come in? Yeah, come, come through. What's with the box? It's some of Lucy's belongings. I thought you'd like them back. You haven't come here just to tell us that, have you? No. Um, there's been a development, and I wanted you to be the first to know. Only sadly... Look, I'm not going to bore you with the internal politics of the Met. But suffice to say that somehow there's been a leak. Now everyone's playing past the parcel. Hand on heart, I don't know the details. But the fact is, this news, the news that I wanted you to be the first to know, it's already got into the hands of the press. When did you find this out? Late, yesterday afternoon. We've got no idea how it got out at the moment. And I can only apologise. Ian! Oh. Well, I was going to show you something, but... maybe you already know? What? So, how long have you known it weren't a mugging? Well, as soon as forensics established that Lucy didn't die where she was found. There was no distribution of blood at the scene, which suggests that the murder took place elsewhere. What? So she was just dumped? Yes. OK, so do you have names? Are you looking for anyone in particular? No, not as yet. What about the Carter lad? Lee Carter's alibi checks out. Look, we have got one significant lead, though, which isn't in the paper. Go on. I know I've asked you this before, Mr. Beale, but... Did you have any hint that Lucy was seeing anyone other than Mr. Carter? Why? Her phone records show that she was exchanging a significant number of texts and calls with someone in the weeks leading up to her death. Who? Oh. Well, that's the question. All the calls were made to a pay-as-you-go phone with no registered user. You've got no idea who that might have been. But what kind of texts? Well, they were, um... They were of a clandestine nature. What are you saying? We need to find this person so that we can rule them out of our inquiries. That's your way of saying that you reckon they did it, yeah? We have to keep an open mind. Okay. When you say clandestine... Organising trysts and the like. Trysts? <laughs> Sorry, um... Secret meetings. So Lucy was having it off with this bloke? I mean, that's basically what you're saying, yeah? Are we likely to know who this person is? That is a possibility. I, I just want to get some sense of why or who. Mr. Beale, Ian, I understand your need for answers, but please... Leave the detective work to you. Yeah. Look, if you start questioning potential witnesses, it's only going to slow things up. I understand. I've got my number, so if anything occurs... Ian. 